Hello everyone. In this video, we will see how to design a negative edge trigger T flip flop using behavior level modeling in Verilog language. So before going to programming, and we should know how does the T flip flop operates. When T is equal to zero, the output is no change. So whatever in the zero, it will be in the next state of Z in the Q bar. The next state. Next state is Q dash, and the previous state is Q. When T is equal to one, the toggles. So if it is zero, it will change to one, and if it is one, it changes to zero. So the simple when t is zero, no change from the previous output, and if t is one, the output gets changed or toggles from the previous output. So we are going to perform t flip flop using case statement. The case statement syntax is case an expression and the corresponding different cases. The case item one, two, and three and four. So if you use single statement, there is no need of begin and end. And if you use multiple statements, we should have a begin and end, and then we should give the end case. This is the corresponding syntax for the case statement. So now we will see how to write a program for T flip flop using case statement module T flip flop. And the outputs are Q, Q bar, T, uh, reset, and clock signal. And the input variables are T, reset, clock, and the output variables are Q and Q bar. So as I told earlier, always we should declare the output variable as a register to hold up a value. So Q and Q bar, the outputs are declared as a registers. So and then here we will give the initial condition. Initially, the Q is zero. Q is zero, and always we are designing a negative trigger flip flop. So always at negative edge of an clock signal it will comes inside the loop always at, at the negative edge of a clock signal it will comes inside the loop so now what happens here we will give you a begin begin so here we can give you a corresponding clear signal so case in case signal case is a keyword open the brackets if we use a single expression then we can give asset case t suppose if we give multiple variables multiple variables then we should give use, use the parenthesis so reset comma t then if two bit so we for corresponding reset and t we will give different cases so 2 bit binary so if it reset is 1 and if t is 0 then the output is 0 it doesn't bother about whether the t is 0 or 1 if reset is 1 the output is 0 then 2 bit binary if reset is 0 and if t is 0 so if t is 0 then what is the case the q is equal to previous state so q is equal to q no change q is equal to q now the third case is 2 bit binary if reset is 0 and if t is 1 then it will toggle so q is equal to negation of q negation of q so we have given all the cases we have given all the cases so here now we can give n case is the keyword and then we can end the begin end the begin so now for q bar uh, we can give negation of q 
so before end itself we can give q bar is equal to negation of q and end the statement n module so we will copy the program so let us go to the tk flop synthesize it so it has been checked so there are one to do this line initial is the corresponding q is equal to 0 it has been negative it's fine it will work so let us write it as bench new source Test picture T flip flop test. So here the inputs are T reset and clock. So in the first case, I'll give reset as a one. In the second case, I will give reset as a zero and t is 0. The third case I will give uh, t is equal to 1. And fourth case let me repeat t is equal to 1 and reset is equal to 0. So as usual uh, we should write in corresponding always at clock signal so for every 50 standard seconds the clock will be keep on varying i have given here so let us save this program and then simulate it so here we can see I have since I have given the initial condition, so initially the Q is equal to 0. So whenever clock goes negative, so when the clock goes negative, reset is high. Since reset is high, the output is 0. The output is 0. And then here we can see when the clock is 0, when the reset is 0, so whatever in the T, it comes to the output say There is no change. The output is no change. So, when the clock is negative once again, when t is equal to 1, the output gets toggled. The output gets toggled. So, since, it, since the output is 0, it goes to 1 over here. Since, in the next case, you can see, when t is equal to 1, the output gets toggled up. So, since it is 1, it turns to 0. And then keep on toggling. We can find here, it's the output is keep on toggling. So, this is how we can design a negative trigger T flip flop using case statement. Thank you.